How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Uh, going local today uh, to a brand new brewery that just opened up here in Alberta, Calgary, Alberta to be specific. Uh, today's beer is going to be from Zero Issue Brewing. Uh, today's beer is Nemesis IPA. Really digging the uh, labeling on their beers. I had their uh, uh, Multiverse Pale Ale a uh, couple days ago. They also have a uh, Pilsner and a, a White IPA right now, so pretty cool. Uh, just opened up like five, six weeks ago, something like that. So very new brewery. Super excited to try these uh, beers out. Um, and uh, yeah, from what I hear, it's uh, two brew, <laughs> two brothers um, who uh, grew up in uh, Calgary area and. Uh, they love comic books and craft beer, so opened up a brewery, pretty awesome, um, and glad to see another brewery popping up locally. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the Nemesis IPA, 7.3% alcohol by volume. From what I hear, it's supposed to be a New England IPA, and from how uh, it pours, I don't disagree with that. That is pure haze four days <laughs> that is straight juice that's like that pineapple uh, orange juice kind of haziness finger of a uh, super compact fluffy frothy bright white head it's a beautiful beautiful looking beer bit of uh, hot particles uh, floating around in the uh, bottom there and that's how I want my New England juicy IPAs to look so let's get an aroma Oh, holy crap. Oh, man. <clears throat> that is like, <laughs> that's explosively juicy. That is really, really nice. It's like really juicy, but it's still got this dank, uh, green, hot characteristic. Yeah, this nice yeastiness in the background, this breadiness. Crackery. Oh, man, that smells really, really good. I can't believe this is coming out of a brand new brewery just from the aroma alone. I find uh, New England IPAs often, uh, it has to be an experienced brewer and uh, it takes lots of times to get it right, but uh, this is just really explosive. Yes, yeah, like peaches, tangerines, lots of stone fruit, like uh, apricots. I want to say apricots. There's some uh, like exotic berry notes, like gooseberry, that tart kind of aroma. But definitely green and hoppy and delicious. There's a certain like banana, banana y kind of thing, like a. a a fresh banana, like a, a not overripe but underripe banana, like that really pungent kind of uh, hard banana kind of aroma. But yeah, that smells awesome. Bit of like a bump, bubble gummy note. Beautiful smelling beer. Let's uh, try it out. Cheers. Fuck, I'm glad this is local. <laughs> that is really good. From a brand new brewery at that, like, wow, wow. Super soft, juicy, pillowy. There's a smoothness to it. It's definitely like very, very hoppy and uh, juicy and sweet, but not overwhelmingly. It's like really, really well balanced. Yeah, flavor wise, uh, it's like super um, just peachy. Uh, yeah, just tons and tons of peach, some nectarine, some uh, 
um, tangerine, like lots of uh, orange fruits, you know, some stone fruits. There's a bit of like a grapefruit, grapefruit uh, juice, grapefruit peel, that kind of thing. There's just the right amount of bitterness to it to balance it out. It's not enough to like uh, scare away people new to hoppy beers, but there's enough of it of the bitterness to uh, like uh, attract the uh, aged hop heads, you know, like the uh, people into like West Coast and stuff like that, that kind of beer. That is really good. Holy crap. <laughs> Yeah, um, granted this is probably my favorite style of beer at the moment is a New England style IPAs and I've been drinking a ton of them. This is honestly one of the easier drinking, softer, more pleasant beers I've had of the style. Um, and I gotta say I love the style for two reasons, the way it tastes the <laughs> and all that, but uh, the approachability. This is something that you could show to someone new to craft beer and they would love it instantly, you know. Uh, someone who doesn't even know craft beer, like most of my friends uh, aren't into uh, craft at all. They're into macro and stuff like that, but they love this style. They absolutely adore New England IPAs and stuff like that. And uh, you know what? It is probably one of my favorite styles as well, so awesome. But uh, I digress, um, as for a rating on this beer, it's like so soft and pillowy on the mouth, I mean, the mouthfeel is fantastic. Burps, well, <laughs> it's got a really nice greenness on the burp. Um, yeah, it's super juicy, super uh, uh, citrusy, tropical fruity stone fruity just a really really nice beer um, I can't really fault this for much I mean I could use a little bit more uh, explosive uh, hoppiness out of it I would like it maybe a little bit more green uh, maybe a little uh, silkier uh, softer stuff like that but this is like honestly one of the better IPAs I've had in the last couple months and I have had the best IPAs I've ever had in the last couple months, so super psyched that this, I can't believe this is local, this is phenomenal. That is a game changer for Alberta beer. Uh, zero Issues, Nemesis IPA, I'm gonna go uh, a, straight up A+, plus, like world class rating on this, this is a 98, something like that. Wicked soft, the mouthfeel is just phenomenal on this. The mouthfeel, like, it rivals like Trillium, Heady, Twin Sails, Superflux, all that stuff that I've been drinking lately and just adoring. I mean, next time I'm in the city, I am gonna buy out this brewery, you know, just get as much as possible. This is great stuff. So let me know what y'all think of uh, Nemesis, um, Multiverse, uh, I think. Their white IPA is Dystopia, um, Pilsner's like Cryptology, something like that. But um, yeah, excited to try more from them in the future. If this is what they're putting out in their first month or two, um, I am very excited for their future. So uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, let me know once again <laughs> what y'all think of these uh, beers from Zero Issue. Uh, thanks for watching. Till the next time. Cheers.